So in this video, I'll be showing you a few different stretches for your legs that should be helpful for lower back pain. So the first one is for your quads, which are the muscles in front of your legs. For this stretch, you want to be in a deep lunge position. And from here, all you're going to do is move your hips forward and you should feel a nice stretch just at the front of your thigh. The movement should come from your entire hip forward and not from arching your lower back. So move forward, feel a nice stretch along the front of your thigh. From here, hold from one minute and work up to four minutes at a time. So the second variation of the quad stretch is to use a stool or a side table. What you're gonna do, the same thing, deep lunge, and you put your foot on top of the stool. From here, same thing, just move your hip forward and just feel a nice stretch along the front of your thigh. You can also try to move it backwards, so sit back onto your foot and you should feel a nice stretch along the length of your thigh as well. The second stretch is for your piriformis, which is a small muscles running along your buttock. For this stretch, you want to be seated on your yoga mat with your knees up. For your involved side, bring the leg up and place it on top of the other knee. Stabilize yourself with your arms at the back. And from here, you should really start to feel some stretch along your glutes. If you want to feel more stretch, bring your left foot closer. This way, you'll feel more stretch along your piriformis. Hold this position from one minute and work up to four minutes at a time. The second variation of this piriformis stretch is what we call the pigeon pose, which is commonly practiced in yoga. So the pigeon pose looks like this. However, for this stretch, it can be difficult to do if you do not have the flexibility or it can also put more pressure onto your lower back, especially if you're not doing it correctly. The last stretch is for your calf muscles. So for this, you need a step. You can either do this at a staircase or just use a yoga block in front of the wall. Place your foot 45 degree on the block. From here, all you need to do is to lean forward closer to the wall. You should feel a nice stretch along the back of your calf. Hold this stretch for one minute and work up to four minutes at a time. For all of these stretches, make sure that you always do both sides. As we sit for long periods of time, the muscles in front of our legs get tight, they're more contracted and causes tight hip flexors. And tight hip flexors can contribute to lower back pain. So these stretches are supposed to help to lengthen the muscles up and free up the knots and adhesions that build up over time in those muscles. Same as the other exercises, if you feel like you're starting to cause any pain, discomfort or making things worse, stop. This is your body's ways of telling you that you should stop doing this. Again, if you're unsure, make sure that you clarify with our team.